Hey everybody, uh, almost done editing the behind the scenes video. Remember there is a giveaway going on for the next week over on the, the initial video we posted with Chris Dickerson throwing Discraft plastic. So make sure you go watch that video, uh, like the video, comment and subscribe to our channel to get into the giveaway for a signed limited edition buzz. You know what to do. And we'll uh, pin the top or we'll pin the winning comment next Sunday. Okay, so where does the story start? Uh, it starts kind of out of nowhere. So Chris Dickerson signs with Discraft. James, who's part of our team, is a big Discraft fan, throws the buzz, loves the buzz. It's Dickerson's limited edition uh, release. It's going to be his tour series disc. Awesome. So James reaches out and is like, hey, man, it's so cool that you're on the team. Congrats. Uh, maybe we can film something together someday. And Chris says, sure. Can you do sometime in the next two weeks down here in Tennessee? And we're like, yeah, I think we can. So naturally, if we're going to go drive all the way down to Tennessee, six and a half hours from <laughs> central Ohio, uh, we need to grab some stuff and make it worthwhile. So sh huge shout out to David Heyman, uh, also of Central Ohio, who hooked us up with a Dickerson Buzz on short notice for not outrageous prices. So thank you so much. We're going to get that signed, hopefully. Uh, and we also have his Dickerson Buzz to hopefully also get signed while we're there. We're also, and part of the sort of pretense for this uh, trip <clears throat> is to go down and film something with Chris and in exchange for him lending us his time and his appearance on our YouTube channel, uh, we're going to take him a bunch of Discraft discs that we have in stock that James has been collecting and let him just pick through and find anything that he needs to help build his bag for the tour season. Cool, super cool. So we're just so excited. We're going to vlog some of the stuff behind the scenes. We'll hopefully have at least two videos coming out on our channel featuring Chris in some capacity. Uh, I can't wait. It's going to be amazing. So stay tuned for more of that to follow. All right, what's up, everybody? We're in the car. We're officially on our way. James is here. Uh, it is Friday, about 2.40 in the afternoon. The sun is shining. Birds are chirping. It's beautiful. There were a lot of birds on the road earlier. <laughs> we, were, we were a little confused. Uh, but uh, we got 412 miles to go to Tennessee for our fun little excursion. Uh, James, since we have some time in the car, and I'm in the five hours, 47 minutes time, <laughs> um, how exactly did all of this start? Like, you know, you messaged me and you are like, I think we could do a video with Chris Dickerson. And I was like, what? <laughs> so explain for the people. Well, it was kind of an impromptu. Uh, Chris signed with Discraft, and I'm a mainly Discraft thrower. I'm not exclusive or anything, but they're one of my favorite companies, if not my favorite. Yeah. And uh, I kind of wanted to just congratulate him, like, hey man, I I'm excited for you to move to Discraft. I think that's an awesome move. Excited you're getting more of the money you deserve. And uh, I have some limited run discs that are gonna be hard to find, you know, stuff that you might not even be able to go to the Discraft factory and get. And uh, I'd love to send you a care package just as a welcome to Discraft kind of thing. And he messaged me back and said, hey, that sounds awesome. And I said, uh, all right, I mean, you know, no expected payment or anything, but I'd love to get together with you maybe sometime. Uh, if you're coming around Ohio, I could meet you or I can even drive down to you and maybe we could uh, film around for our YouTube channels or whatever the case may be. And he was immediately receptive, very, very nice guy. Uh, we've been talking all week about uh, driving down to Tennessee, uh, meeting before the season started rather than during, so that uh, he can focus. Yeah, so that he can focus more on uh, learning his new molds and uh, how they're going to fly different. You know, he's been with Prodigy since, I think, 2016 or something yeah, like six that. six years, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's been a while, so I'm sure it's not an easy task to completely relearn uh, all the things that you've learned to do proficiently, I would say. So yeah, it was kind of just an on-the-whim thing, and he ended up being very receptive of me, and so here we are on our way to Tennessee to go meet him. Crazy. Yeah, it was, super excited though. And I yeah, mean, we're you know we're a small business, a small channel, a small whatever. Uh, but it's a 
a really cool opportunity to maybe grow that exposure a little bit and also like I mean we're both disc golf nerds so we're both just really excited <laughs> to be yeah. a famous disc golfer. We're getting uh, our fanboying <laughs> out of the way now on the drive down there. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna we're gonna play it cool everybody. Maybe. Maybe yeah. we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> maybe uh, get a couple autographs, maybe do a disc giveaway. Yeah, we certainly hope there will be uh, uh -huh. some giveaway type stuff. So I've, uh, I think we've got something in mind for a giveaway. <laughs> yeah, for sure. So we'll uh, we'll keep you all updated on our our journey, and uh, unfortunately, it's going to be dark in a couple hours. It will. Otherwise, the scenery might be nice. Hey, the lighting's great right now. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Alrighty, guys. Well, we'll let you go for now, but what we'll, uh, we'll keep you updated here in a couple hours or so when we get bored again. <laughs> nice. All right, guys, have a good one. Roadside stop number one. Got a random flying J. It's freezing cold. Stretching the legs. According to James, he has a small bladder. This may be the first of many. Stay tuned. Meanwhile, somewhere in, we're still in Kentucky, right? Yes. Uh, we're towards the Cumberland Gap. We think we're still in Kentucky, but almost Tennessee. It's dinner time. You have a good day, evening. You. you too. May I take the winner? You have a good day and a good evening, sir. <laughs> Stay tuned. We will arrive in Tennessee eventually. Well, thank you very much. Well, good morning from Morristown, Tennessee. We got in about 9.30 last night and uh, got unloaded into the hotel. It was absolutely frigid, but the weather's supposed to be better today. It's like a high of 40. Surprisingly, I think I had like the best night's sleep I've had all week. Slept all the way through the night. Woke up to my alarm for the first time in ages. Part of that's probably because kids wake me up at home all the time, but Really looking forward to today and uh, slinging some discs. <laughs> Let's go. My room key won't work. I just want to pack the car. Hmm. <laughs> <sighs> Got him. <laughs> We're awake. We're up. We made it. it the sun's the sun's somewhere up there. 
and uh, we're gonna head over the course early and warm up our uh, our unprofessional amateur bones and uh, see if we're ready to go. Uh -huh. Ooh, what's the breakfast of champions today? Turkey sausage bites. Mm. Yes, yeah, so watch out. Yummy. All right, let's roll. <laughs> All right, we're out here at Cherokee Park Disc Golf Course in Morristown, Tennessee. We're a stone's throw from the tunnel we came through last night, through, I believe, the Cumberland Gap. Yep. And someone will be here shortly that uh, you won't want to miss. We're so excited for the opportunity to come down and film with uh, Chris Dickerson. It's so exciting. And this course has got beautiful rolling hills. I can see some kind of water features over here. I think we drove right past this last night. 4.6 stars on UDISC. So, you know, if you're in the neighborhood, looks like a pretty sweet place to play. And uh, we're going to throw some warm-up shots and just loosen up our our weary traveler's bones and see if we can sling some discs today. So uh, this will be your little behind-the-scenes stuff. And we have a few things we're hoping to uh, film with Chris today, and we'll see how much of it we can get done. So stay tuned. either good or it's like five miles down the hill. <laughs> All right, James, first throws in Tennessee. Ugh. Let's do it. I like that angle, stick it. Choo! The ground is hard and the grass is short. That's for sure. Skip time. <laughs> Rip it. All right, halfway there. <laughs> 535 <laughs> feet over a big hull. Smooshed. Wow, what was that? Halo wraith. That's a very stable wraith. Yeah. Wow.
Let's see what we I'm not trying to litter down here, you know. I brought fancies. <laughs> Yeah, I need to go for that one right off the rip. Well, it's a... Uh, <laughs> Zeus. Oh, it's a Zeus. Uh-huh. It's the most stable run of Zeus I've found. I've heard, I've heard they're more uh -huh. stable. Yeah, they're nice. Yeah, uh, one thing I've wanted to do since switch it, switch it over to Discraft is be able to throw the, uh, like, stock run stuff. Uh -huh. Not that hard to find. Right, yeah, for sure. Stuff that every company has. Yeah, so, I've found that the stock runs for Discraft are a lot more consistent than other brands. Mm -hmm. How you feeling, James? Are you star starstruck yet? A little bit. I'm just fanboying <laughs> on the inside. <laughs> how overstable is this? Is it's this nice. Force. It's nice. Like, for how flat it is, it's pretty beefy. Okay. But that's me throwing it. I don't know about you. I got you. <laughs> that thing feels great. So like yeah. we talked about on the way down here, we brought a whole bunch of plastic for Chris to pick through and just kind of see if he can find anything he's looking for. And mm -hmm. we brought a whole bunch of random goodies. People. Have you met Brad Chick? I have, yeah. Yeah, Brad Chick's our local pro up there in Columbus. Okay. Super nice guy. He's out at tons of terms. Matter of fact, he's playing in the Columbus Ice Bowl today, mm -hmm. which my wife, my uh, my mother-in-law, and my son and my buddy Rich, which, by the way, if you would say hi to Rich, he would love that. Hey, Rich. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, they are setting up a pop-up shop for the rest of our stock that's uh, not down here with us. So gotcha. should be fun. That's a nice one. Mm-hmm. I brought that one special for you. I appreciate that. <laughs> and then that one with the dinosaur on it is a crystal flex raptor. The one with the dinosaur. Oh, this one? Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, um, I've thrown the raptor a little bit, mm -hmm. and I think it'll come in and out of the bag for right. uh, certain shots. That makes sense. But um, the captain's raptor. Yeah, I figured that'd be more what you want. There's a quake. I know you're interested in those. Oh, this is a quake? Uh -huh. Yeah, GMC Quake from uh, last year. Let's see. It goes up to 180 grams, don't it? They should, yeah. Okay. I'm going to show you my Quake at uh, with running the risk that you might want it, but look at that thing. <laughs> That's pretty. Oh, yeah. That's a little flatter, too. <laughs> yeah so I, i've yet to figure out like the, the profiles of like how certain discs are supposed to fly depending on the profile right yeah so um with the force is it the pop top or yeah. pop top generally is more more beefy like that one will probably be a little bit more stable than mine just because it's been thrown a few times that one's new and it's nice and domey okay and that other force would be good for like your forehands, mm -hmm. distance forehands. Okay, I give that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, feel free to get yourself a little stack going. We got some stuff from Ledgestone last year. There's some like crystal Z Flex, uh -huh. but they're pretty stiff, even though they say they're Z Flex yeah. buzzes. Yeah, those are nice. I had to bag one myself. Mm -hmm. So when are you heading out? What, what's your first tournament this year? Um, it is going to be the, well, the first tournament's coming up next weekend. It's the uh, Knoxville Ice Bowl. Right, um, right. But after that. Um, oh, All-Star Weekend, right? Yep. The All -Star nice. That's going to be so cool. Uh, they just posted something about the format that mm -hmm. I was reading this morning that looked really interesting. There's going to be like a team thing, be like a team captain picking yep. doubles teams and skill shots and stuff like that. Yeah, so uh, the two um highest people in the the points standings um they're gonna be team captains they're gonna alternate picks and uh make a team of i think so that's ricky and who eagle um i don't think ricky's going i don't think paul's going so I think oh really gonna end up being calvin and eagle so nice heard it here first <laughs> <laughs> breaking news so yeah uh, i'm gonna talk to calvin and be like hey you need to pick me up first <laughs> <laughs> there you go oh man yeah, so um, it's going to be a fun event because it's breaking up into um, an accuracy const contest. So two people are going to be doing that. Two people are going to do putting and yeah. two people are going to do uh, distance accuracy shots. So we don't know what that all of those are going to look like, but, um, you know, just the name gives you a 
decent idea. Yeah, yeah that's really interesting that it's a kind of like we get to watch you guys just, you know, lacing mm -hmm. distance shots or, you know, tight lines in the woods or whatever anywhere on the tour. So seeing like a totally different vibe is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I like the uh, the layout for it or like the uh, the format. Right. Yeah. Yeah, it sounds awesome to watch. So when you're when you're picking through like some new plastic or looking for something specific, is there like a feel or a shape or, you know, like when you feel it in your hand and like how flexible it is, does that give you some indication kind of what you're looking for? Uh, kind of. So for uh, for backhand shots, I prefer a little more like stiff plastic. Uh, but for forehands. I don't necessarily like gummy. So like this, for example, this is uh, right. too much. Yeah. FLX. Yeah, that's yeah. a little too much. Even for as cold as it, as it is right now, mm -hmm. um, just a little too much. But then uh, like this, for example. Yeah. Too much. Too stiff. Yeah. So I'm sure. Somewhere, somewhere be, in between. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm sure this would be fine um, if it was warm outside. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm really picky whenever it comes to sidearm or forehand. Um, this. Yeah, yeah, I would say I'm the same. Like, there's there's some that just don't don't so, feel quite as good. Yeah, that's another one. That's way too stiff right now. Yeah. But but in the summers it'd be nice. I think it would be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, and it's got a Yuli stamp, so it flies better. Yeah, of course. <laughs> that's what, <I've> heard. <laughs> that's that's what, what he would say. You. I feel yeah. <laughs> this one's not too bad right now, but yeah, in uh, the summer I don't even use them. <laughs> yeah, I tried uh, one of those whenever it was still a little warm outside, like somewhere around 70 degrees, mm -hmm. and. If it looked good, it just wasn't what I wanted. Yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't blame you on that one. Yeah, so I, I use think... this one for a little bit longer distance too. Yeah, it's pretty flexy, but yeah, it digs. And nice. see, that that's the reason I don't like it is because yeah, I do that. Do that. <laughs> as soon as you <laughs> squeeze it, <laughs> yeah, and it I'm comes not. It's can, we, just, can we see that again? Yeah, so I'm not <laughs> even awesome. like trying to squeeze it. If I were, right. I could squeeze a little bit more, but yeah, yeah, that's that's just how it was. <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of, it's different to get used to. That's a thrasher. That'd be like a roller disc, mm -hmm. probably. <laughs> um, I did bring my old roller disc. That I know you love a good utility <laughs> disc. This will be the flippiest <laughs> thing you've ever thrown. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I'm still looking for a roller disc. I think um, a Sting and Big Z plastic would be kind of mm -hmm. what I'm going for. Because I, I have a Sting, but it's in Z plastic, and it, it's pretty stiff. Yeah. Um, I just think the Big Z is going to be... A little flippier. Yeah, yeah, it will be a little bit. Continue to beat up a little bit more. For so sure. yeah, I think. Uh, what you interested in? Yeah, I think. You got your stack. These, yeah. All right, sweet. Sweet. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of excited you didn't take that one because I love it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the the Raptor seems like a good disc, but mm -hmm. it's just kind of in between yeah um, we can blur this one out yeah. if you need to <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> this one kind of flies like a almost like a beat-in sexton firebird for me mm -hmm. just but i love the flat profile of it thank so you very much yeah, that thank little you. bit of dome but uh but yeah i dig that one yeah that that's kind of what it seems like is a, a disc that if you put a little bit of anheuser on it mm -hmm. um it's just gonna hold for a little bit but then it's gonna have that stability on there. yes absolutely and then to complement i have this one which is the beefiest run of raptor you could get before the captain's raptor came out it's like board flat nice and stiff zeglo mm -hmm. we got just <laughs> two more if you don't mind chris the two uh yeah. limited editions stuff, there right? oh yeah i mean it's already got your signature on it but it doesn't, that one's doesn't count. i like that one not that they don't all now right, but... we got these on short notice from a local guy in columbus yes and uh he gave us if he he easily could have charged us a hundred dollars mm -hmm. for one of the discs but we appreciate him not doing that so we brought his along to get signed so he's gonna be stoked yeah thank you what was his yep. name was it david uh i remember i'm gonna look it up uh, yeah it is david it is david I, yeah i think it is yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah so i heard you were wanting to try the xl for your like fairway driver that's what I was kind of thinking, but mm -hmm. then I found out that it's out of production. <laughs> yeah, you can still find them for decent prices. Yeah. Um, and honestly, you'd probably find people to just give them to you anyway. I know I would if I had one, but <laughs> I, I had one years ago, but I ended up losing it. Yeah, I think that's I think instead I'm gonna try. I tried the Mantis in uh, Z plastic, uh -huh. and it was just a little more stable than what I wanted. So I think I'm gonna try and find it in like a, a big Z plastic or uh -huh. just a plastic that's not as uh, 
overstable. Right. Or it'll beat in a little quicker. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we'll, we'll see how that goes. Sweet. The whole plan was to go out to the All-Star event, uh, then to the disc golf convention, then Las Vegas Challenge, mm -hmm. and then uh, work our way back to Waco. Um, but it was kind of a bummer to see that the uh, disc golf convention got canceled. Yeah, uh, Greg was actually going to go out to that. Yeah. And uh, yeah, he was pretty bummed about that. Time? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I guess for a refund because of COVID, like three days before they canceled it. So. Yeah. <laughs> Right. I'm actually gonna throw this because I have no Undertaker? Well it's I don't know if it's I don't think it's first round. Mm. Oh it's, okay. It's got the flat numbers on it. But, yeah. Um I picked it up as a used disc yesterday. Nice. I think the Undertaker is going to be my go-to fairway driver. Oh, absolutely. It's pretty cold up there. Yeah. It was in the... Uh, one morning, we got up about 9 to leave to go to the warehouse, and it was about... I want to say 7? 5 to 7 degrees. Ugh, and the no wind thanks. chill was negative, was what I was told. Yeah, yeah that's not nice. But my uh, it warmed up after that. So. My experience with Tennessee has been a lot sweatier than this. <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> We're down here in uh, Gatlinburg, maybe la uh, last year, like less than a year ago. Uh -huh. It was nice. They're recovering well from that fire a couple years ago. Was that anywhere yeah. near here? Um, probably thirty to forty-five minutes from here. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I think. If I'm remembering correctly, I live about an hour and a half from Gatlinburg. Yeah. And uh, we could smell a little bit of the smoke yeah. from that far away. So, yeah, I'm sure around this area they could definitely smell it, probably even see it. Right. At least it probably wasn't as bad as up in Minnesota for the preserve. Oh, yeah. Is that all that, that's all that smoke that was there yeah, the first day? Probably not that bad. Right. But I don't know. It's, it's tough to say. Right. So I have a question for you that's maybe a little different. Uh, I have some friends that are big fans of vans, and it seems uh, like you are too. Is that Why is that your choice for a disc golf? I'm just curious. So um, it's because whenever I throw, mm -hmm. I kind of do this motion right. with my foot. And, okay. And uh, I rip through yeah. all the shoes that I have. Something like that? Uh, yeah, except for <laughs> it, it'll be on this side of the shoe. Yeah, I got that too. Yep. Um, <laughs> These are only five months old. So, that's why I went to Vans, because they have, yeah. uh, this style specifically has a, like a more gel type sole. Yeah, uh, I see sole. that. That's cool. And, yeah, it comes up so high on the shoe. I haven't ripped through these yet. Nice. Tree nerd. Oh, but you got the part where he says good, right? Yeah. <laughs> we'll edit that out though. No. <laughs> but I, I don't want editing it. <laughs> I know. Yeah, Greg, like, leave that in. <laughs> like this one, I'm gonna try and get it to stand up and go a little straighter before it starts to fade. Okay. Oh, I didn't get it. Miss it. Oh. It went through it, but. Nice. Bunch of invisible branches up there. I don't know if I could get a get a skip more. Um, so the reason that that was left that way was to kind of test out a theory to see if that would make it glide more. Okay. Um, but what the end of the Yeah, but I don't I don't think it was really enough. Kind of like the golf ball. Type. Right, the dimples or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't think it was really enough to do anything to it because uh, the more you run the disc, the more that that is gonna deteriorate right um so uh, i think fx2s now don't even have that on the bottom and i think they fly pretty similar okay so <laughs> interesting yeah it, it was a it was a good idea to test but i know that people didn't really like the feel of it very much so 
some, some did, some did. It's, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. it was just unique. It's different. Yeah. Bring it up, James. Oh! Let's go. Man. <laughs> Sick. That was the Berg? Yep. Four handy? Oh, yeah. I'm gonna go grab my real quick. All right. I mean, this is a pretty good shot, huh? Yeah, that's a, <laughs> that's a nice look at Eagle. Yeah, yeah. Quote unquote. <laughs> There it is. So were the Joma's putting game videos as fun to film as they looked? Yes. Um, yeah, especially the one uh, in the trampoline park. Yeah. Because um, we had way too much fun. <laughs> it uh, looked like it. Yeah, well, we, we were just bouncing all over the place. And uh, it was the day before the tournament. Yeah. And we, we really hadn't done... Uh, anything like that in a long time so the next day all of us were like wow our legs are really tight <laughs> right. yeah so how old are you chris 28 28 yeah yeah i turned uh, i turned 35 this year mm -hmm. and this winter i discovered that knees can hurt when it gets cold it's not a very nice discovery yeah. <laughs> it doesn't need a skip but with the slope of the hill it's gonna take one wouldn't hurt I think I'm just gonna lace it in this bush right here. Right <laughs> off the table. <laughs> <That's good. laughs> Thing of beauty. Bam, bam. Thanks, buddy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I, I don't know if anyone's seen one of these yet. Ooh, what is that? It's a blank one. Nice. Oh, James, cart, 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 cart. Oh. She knew. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a nice one. Oh look at the where it separated. It's got like different colors in it too. That's cool. Sweet. Yeah, that's a perfect. So it's one. just one of the new ones, but blank stamp. That's it. So nice. yeah, I don't I don't know if people like the blank ones. I don't know if they care about the stamp. But it looks sick. There's a few out there. Nice. Sweet. <laughs> he says you can't have it though. Yep. Buzzes. It's that they seem to fly a little more overstable. Yeah. Than like the Z ones that I've got. So. Oh, there we go. Yeah, the weird thing is, uh, the ones that I've grabbed, no matter what the plastic is, they all seem to fly very similar. That's not necessarily a bad thing, I guess. No, it's not bad at all. Is that if it's a better feel in your hand or yeah, you just, better grip? If that's the fly that you want, you just change your plastic. You drained one from a couple hundred feet. Mm -hmm. So it was. This one right here? Uh-huh. Pretty overstable. As long as I don't hit one of these trees. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. But, um, our local disc golf store really likes Castaplast, so yeah. I know, I know about the Berg, the Cax, uh, the Rask, yeah. Stall, or yeah. maybe I pronounced that wrong. You uh, got it for uh, us. Americans, <laughs> yeah. Swedish, I don't know if we can do it right. Yeah. <laughs> I, I know a few of them. Yeah. Yeah. If for like a smaller brand, they are one of our best sellers mm -hmm. by far. That, that's what uh, I've heard through that store as well. Yeah. What's the name of the local store? Throwmore Disc Golf Store. Throwmore. Shout out Throwmore. Shout out Throwmore. <laughs> that's a good name. Yeah. I mean, you know, from the business side of it, they want you to throw more, mm -hmm. but at disc golf, you should be throwing less. Right. <laughs> <laughs> throw more often. Yeah, throw more and then come buy more discs. Yeah, but also lose them. Exactly. <laughs> Maybe they mean throw multiple shots so that you forget some and then have to come buy a replacement. <laughs> yeah, our, uh, our local course is called Riverview, so it's good for business. <laughs> I think you can get in the water on about 
Almost half the hole. Yeah, so another part of the reef baskets right down there. To the right, yeah. Uh -huh. um, the trees have grown now quite a bit more and they've taken away the hazard for the most part. Yeah. But today's a good wind for For a big shot to the right? Yep. Yeah. Should be. Should be. <laughs> yeah, that's a good way for it. Close? It'll pop. Uh, I don't know how close it is, but it'll pop. Mmm. 340, huh? The last time I played here, I tried that. I hit the skinny one and I kicked across the road almost where the dump truck is. <laughs> and I assume that's OB? <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> so, Chris, if you weren't a professional disc golfer, uh -huh. what do you think you'd be doing for a career? I would say um, auto mechanic. Auto mechanic, cool. Uh -huh. uh, that's what I went to school for. I've got a degree. I've got an a associate's degree in automotive. Nice. So... Do you find you get any time to do that in your free time? Uh, not anymore. No? Uh, used to. Which yeah. one are you looking for? It made it, it's down here. Yeah, used to, um, I would work on uh, my cars, uh, families, stuff like that, friends. Yeah. Um, so yeah. That, a, little, a little less time to do that now? Yeah, a little less. A lot more <laughs> traveling. Yeah, no uh, kidding. I was thinking about that on the way down here yesterday, mm -hmm. that I think the part of touring life that a lot of like fans don't really think about is just how much driving there is. You know, we're like, oh, we're just going to, you know, I took a half day at work to run down here yeah. yesterday. You know, it's, of course it says it's six and a half hour drive and then you stop once, twice, three times, whatever. And pretty soon it's eight hours. Yep. So, uh, yeah, when, whenever it's, uh, five hours or so between tour stops that's not that bad uh used to whenever i started touring um or not not touring whenever i started traveling to play tournaments around three hours i hated it anything yeah. over three hours but now three hours is a breeze five hours yeah kind of the same uh but then seven eight hours starts to get to you yeah we started dragging around like the sixth hour yesterday yeah. mm -hmm. it felt like super fast before that yeah right. and then i think we hit the tunnel and it was like oh we're only just now in tennessee <laughs> oh yeah just yeah. now <laughs> it's been dark for an hour and a half <laughs> oh man yeah do your do that superman putt again all right is it the footwork got it Way. Nice. Yeah, I found that uh, <laughs> the key to long drives is don't think about it. Yeah. <laughs> the second that you think about how long you have left. Yeah, yeah. exactly. That's right. Steering yeah, we were. That's because we turned the music off and started going. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Man, well, only two hours left. I used to set up. Only an hour 50 minutes. left. Yep. 10 minutes uh, shorter than the trip is supposed to take so that when the playlist is over, I know I'm almost there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, people are like, oh, the roads are kind of bad with like an inch or two of snow. Yeah. The people that live up on those hills, either <laughs> they leave their cars at the bottom and they don't even drive up to their house, <laughs> or they have a really hard time getting down, or they don't. Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah, no helicopters? I mean, Ohio is pretty flat, and so with like, the majority, right. you'll see on a snowy day, the only vehicles slid off the road are SUVs. Because <laughs> they're driving like nothing's happening. Uh-huh. Like what? Hey, nope, it's gonna affect you the same as us. Yeah. Greg just uh, hit this with his rangefinder and said, uh, his rangefinder said, don't bother, you can't get it there. I'm gonna say inside the circle. Yeah? Yeah. And look at that. Can we go past it? Uh huh. further you get, the easier your 
your upshot is going to be. That's going to be like kind of obvious on most holes, but this one, being a hole that's just wide open, it makes more sense. For sure. So what I found with the big Z Onyx is that it's quite a bit more overstable yeah. than the, the normal Onyx. Yeah. So, you know, a normal Onyx will try and stand up a little bit. This one I can kind of throw flat and it's just going to fade over. I say that and now I'm going to throw it. Oh, just in go in the basket. That'll do. That will do. All right, here we go. We got the 3SP drink, car drink craft coaster. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. I appreciate it. Yeah, man. <laughs> some some fun little project. Yeah. No, what am I? This is too close. <laughs> I was like, hey man, you do you. Put it on a Pfizer. It could on, I could throw a mid range, right? Uh huh. Not like that, though. Oh, oh snuck it in. Yeah, that's what I was just wondering. I think it went over there to the right somewhere. Ugh. You all right? I'm cold again. Oh, God. That's why no, I like the hood. I just having just no hairs. Complicated. <laughs> hot, cold, hot, cold, hot, cold. Damn. Looking good with the water behind you, James. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. You want it? You want to tap it out? About, or about that one. <laughs> the structure over there, I don't know what it is, but uh, you can kind of see like a yeah a barrier in front of it. And then I wonder if that used to be like a drain or something like, but obviously it's nowhere near where the water level has been, or like a yeah. storage, like or a bunker for crazy people. Yeah, but I mean, <laughs> if you look like straight in front of it at the water's edge, you'll see stairs leading up to it. Huh. So yeah, mm. it's the first time I've noticed the stairs, but I've noticed that before. The sacrificial chamber. <laughs> Alright, this is the basket straight ahead, is it? Uh -huh. Yep. Ooh, look at this gap. Tie this hole out here. Tight. Hmm. You know the disc I normally throw to hit a tight gap? What's that? Is my my USDGC FX2. Okay. <laughs> but now it's got a signature, so I left it in the car. <laughs> So how, how far do you have to drive to get here? Uh, 45 minutes or so. Yeah, 45 minutes. That's about what we would drive to play, like, some of the nice courses in Columbus. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see, Columbus... Uh, Brent Hambrick. Hambrick? Yep, yeah. yep. That is uh, a fun course. Yeah, I it's... Really, I really like that course. I grew up in Westerville, which is where, where the course is. Mm -hmm. And that's where... <laughs> This will tell you what I knew about disc golf when I was playing in like high school, like 04, 05. Mm -hmm. I had four discs. I had a, a Climo 11 time Firebird, still have it. Uh, old pre flight number Orc, mm -hmm. which says it's champion, but it's like super gummy. Yep. And then I had a DXT Bird and a Dragon. Okay. No putters, no mid ranges. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Bought them all at the gas station next to the course. Mm -hmm. Yep. Obviously, I was putting with one of them. Didn't know what I was doing. Let's see, one is the turnover, two's down there, three's basket. Yeah. Yeah. So that that's a, a skins hole that they used to play. They probably still do. Um, but yeah, the temp we played on the other side, and there was a backup. Uh, so two or three cards. You know, uh, with the dam, they don't close it. People are walking. Yeah. And this guy's walking by as somebody's getting ready to tee off, and he he was with his girlfriend. He goes, "Hold up." I want to see what he's got. <laughs> the guy heard him and just kind of like looked around and then he shanks his shot and the guy goes. 
<laughs> it, I mean, I, it was awful for uh, that guy just because he put him on the spot and then yeah. he, he didn't throw a good shot. But for the rest of us watching, hilarious. <laughs> it was great. That's it was awesome. good content. <laughs> oh, man. There you go. Narrow it down to just one. Yeah. Um, well, give, me, give me three. Give okay. me your top three. I can do three. Um, Calvin Hamburg is probably my all around favorite to play with. Yeah. Um, if I'm going to give somebody. Uh, crap mm -hmm. or a hard time, it's gonna be Eric Oakley or Big Germ. Love it. And then, as far as like competing, um, I like playing with Paul. As mm -hmm. I would have said that before I joined this crap because, right, uh, he we will compete, but he's also the person that'll like he'll carry on a conversation with you, right? Around. Yeah, and I mean, of course. If neither one of us are having really a good round, we're not going to be doing too much. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> but yeah, when we are, there, there's always a conversation going. On. Yeah, he seems like a, a nice, approachable guy. Yeah. Oh, dirty. Fair enough. So, yeah, I try to stay away from like black, brown. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like dark purple. Mm -hmm. Um, Makes sense. Green's not my favorite either, but... Yeah, I can't do a green one. Why did I do that? I felt that stuff. <laughs> we'll edit that one off, please. Sure thing, man. You didn't fall down or do anything exciting, so it's not worth keeping. <laughs> we were filming a commercial a couple weeks ago. Mm -hmm. I hired like a local videographer, and he didn't get the whole clip, but our buddy Max, <laughs> it was there was snow and ice stuff mm -hmm. stuff out, and he absolutely wiped out on the tee pad. So you just you see him throw the shot, which was a decent shot, and then he just kind of disappears out of frame. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, where'd he go? Obviously meant to do that. Yeah. Yep, baby. <laughs> That'll work. Got something in my shoe at the same time. That sucks. Um, we played on a very much shorter course than what you did. So. <laughs> yeah, so you didn't have like a distance advantage. Yes. Yeah. And I was like, you had it easy because, <laughs> sure, they can get one out there maybe 400 feet, but if you're throwing 450, accurately you know they're gonna have two shots you're gonna have uh on some of the holes they're kind of like the longer ones out here a first shot and then a putt yeah mm -hmm. so i was like the way i see it is the shorter <laughs> holes that i played they had more of a chance to score better on yeah so i had it a lot harder and We're... to this day still has not given me any credit <laughs> <laughs> are you about to rip that zone 310 310 yeah yeah awesome uh it's a little downhill yeah. I wouldn't say exactly. Where's the best? Oh, I see. Butter. Butter. Well, I think we got just a couple holes left. And it is going great. I think we're going to have to remember to ask Chris to throw a couple shots with the buzz. For us to record and then we'll be good to go but it's been a super fun time chris super nice super genuine really generous with his time and answering our questions and all kinds of cool stuff cool stories about the hambrick fun stuff the uh, holes that are left chris is either one of them kind of like a flat open shot uh yeah the last hole is can we, get, uh, can we get you to throw a couple buzzes on that to get mm -hmm. some footage for the uh, Disc in the Detail series? Yep. Would you like to do like an Ace Trace and show maybe like... So all three are going to fly. I mean, this one's going to be a little more overstable than the others. Yeah. But what I've noticed with the buzz is depending on the angle, that's how you can make it fly. If you throw it on hyzer, it's going to hyzer flat as flat. And then, yeah. As long as you don't have like an extremely beat up one. So yeah, the first one... I'll just throw it on some hyzer, it should get a 
pretty good fade to the left. Nice. And the second is just a Z buzz. Should be flat, pretty straight. It might have a little fade. Lastly, I believe it's ESP. Um, started out on Anheuser and it should just hold over. The disc is in Sweet. The <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I like that. Uh huh. The, the five cloth? Yeah. Well, I, I don't know if it's a four or a five. I think it's a five. If it was a four, you'd be throwing like a five hundred dollar disc. Yeah. <laughs> Smoked. The run? Yeah. Uh, the newest one I've had this is pretty good. Are we unlocked? Oh, no. We are not. There you go. So you said you needed uh, stickers? Yeah. Yeah, let me. Uh... Like, to me, Worlds is you know bigger than USCGC in my eyes because it's the World Championship. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I guess it gives you something mid-season to uh, kind of have like that big climax too, so it's like you get a few of them, yeah. but I don't know, random yeah. thought. <laughs> well, I guess that's it. Sweet, man. Super fun. Thank you so Thanks much. Again, yeah. Have a safe it. trip back home. Yeah. I appreciate it. You all too. Absolutely. Thank you. Yeah. I'll see you at Ottawa. I'll try to hit you up. Okay. Yeah, that sounds good. Uh, thank you all for the day. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, well, we got in so late last night leaving it too. We probably hit the road not too, not too short after. I think, um, cause we're, we're like vlogging a little bit behind the scenes of the trip too. Gotcha. We'll like talk about like, oh, Chris was such a, <laughs> such a diva. And he told us, don't talk about this. <laughs> yeah. We'll film a little bit more before we wrap up, but we'll probably hit the road. I got you. Yeah. I was going to say, if you all were staying like the rest of the day, there's, few other good courses in this area not very far yeah well when we were like when we he initially he texted me he's like oh hey would you uh, be interested in I'm like can I just bail on you on short notice <laughs> what do you think about it she's like do it fine figure it figure out how so we started looking up the courses and I was like these courses are rated really nice like yeah the only the only thing about this course is like from the pictures you can tell it's hilly, mm -hmm. but because it's so smooth you're like I'll stop that I'll bring my cart. Yeah. And then I, I, I'm not, <laughs> I don't know if I regret it because it's easier for filming, but right. I brought my cart because yeah. my bag is a Ricky Wysocki bag and that just seemed you know <laughs> I wasn't gonna do that. When you release a bag though, <laughs> I, I hope you, you do you get your own little grip bag. I'll I'll totally get one. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm curious, did you go with that uh, color of grip bag just because dirt is not gonna be as dirty? Well, I, I like um, more like outdoorsy colors, yeah. so... That makes yeah. sense. You don't want to yeah. clash with the camera, right? Right. No, you, you cannot wear, like, say, a pink bag. Right. <laughs> I do like the new ones that came out with the, like, minty teal and the, the like, magenta color. Mm -hmm. Those are pretty cool. I like yeah. them. Like, Paige Pierce's bag is sweet looking. Yeah. I just don't know if I could rock it, but honestly, I would. I would you got have a watermelon bag. I do. Have, I did. <laughs> I sold it, actually. Did you really? I did, yeah. Oh, well, man. I got the Ricky Wysocki one, and it's what, the ridge roller's got the seat built in. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, it's just a nice bag, so I found myself not using my other one. Right. <laughs> wow, that was a super fun time. Uh, Chris is super down to earth. 
What's going on here? <laughs> Chris is awesome, guys. Yeah. Seriously, he's super cool. Like, the kind of guy that heart emojis your messages, you know what I mean? Like, just wanna, <laughs> treats you like he's known you your whole life. Heart emojis, that's great. <laughs> yeah. It was so nice getting out here to throw with him. I embarrassed myself by playing like crap, but I really didn't expect anything less, so. Well, I think we both had some shots. Like, if yeah. you hear, like, top five rated player in the world say, nice, like, or wow, <laughs> yeah. or, you know, stuff like that. that. That doesn't make you feel bad at all. Yeah, I don't that's think really we good. got any nice layups or <laughs> no he didn't you know what he could have been razzing us yeah, for uh sure. but he didn't and that was pretty cool and he, he of course left just no room for us to razz him whatsoever i mean just threading even with new new molds new plastic new everything so hole 18 over here is like uh and i'll cut, away, cut away to the footage greg from the video yeah. Uh, is like 480 uphill mm -hmm. and he throws an undertaker he's like well i'm still trying to figure out how it flies it's like 12 feet away yeah I, uh, I yes. think that was his force. Oh, was it a force? Yeah, yeah. That was uh, his other force. He's liking that uh, that pale blue purple uh, ESP force, and then yeah. he has another one that's like an orange peaches color. I think that's the one he threw. It has like the bomb stamp on it. Right. So, guys, yeah. you're going to get to know what Chris is going to be throwing out on tour here first. So, feel lucky. That's pretty cool. It's real cool. I know I feel lucky. Yeah, it's for so sure. Cool. <laughs> I'm glad we took the time to come down here. It was a long drive, and we're about to do some more yeah. of it, and we'll show some scenery on the way back to Ohio and uh -huh, like uh -huh. maybe it'll almost be light out when we get home. That'd be kind of okay, you know. <laughs> yeah, Honestly, probably. I'm probably gonna sleep when I get home anyway. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, oh, a couple things. As uh, you probably already saw in the behind the scenes footage, we got some sweet signatures. Chris signed my USDGC Robot Chicken FX2. We've got our uh, uh, buddy David who hooked us up with the Glow yeah. H3V2. Uh, who hooked us up with the giveaway Wonder Bread stamp, now signed, limited edition. Uh, uh, again, stay tuned. Details coming in the voiceover from Greg because I don't think we've worked out how we're going to do the giveaway yet. But <laughs> right. we got his, David, uh, his buzz signed because he hooked us up with this one. So thank you so much. Yes, yes. Thank you, David. Uh, and On a, short notice, a few too. others, too. So. And of course, you know, I had to get my Buzz GT signed because... It's one of my favorite discs, so why not have one of my favorite players on there? Absolutely. Yep. This is a ton of fun, man. Yeah, that was awesome. Thanks for making it happen, James. Hey, not a problem. Thank, Thank you, you all. Chris. Thank you all for watching. Details on the giveaway. Make sure you like and subscribe. Uh, this was an awesome opportunity to come down here, and we're super thankful for Chris's time and for all of you watching. See you next time. Hashtag alrighty, guys. <laughs> While you're there, did you bring your iPad or anything?
cut together, I think, at least three videos for our YouTube channel, which is really cool just for, for our channel, but also to get to show, like, you know, what Chris is throwing, and, uh, and I know that a lot of Discraft fans in particular are going to be curious about that, so... Me being one. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, we got some cool shots. Uh, we did. Doing a giveaway, like, I, it's just... Chris Perfect. got some good discs Perfect. too. Yeah. I'm really excited to. Uh, he better be throwing that Crystal Zeus or I'll be a sad man. <laughs> <laughs> that one was my favorite. Uh, I think you were saying on the way down, like I hope he doesn't want it. <laughs> that was that was I one of my want. two that I was like, man, I hope he doesn't take that one. Yeah. But I kind of knew he would. It's a great disc. Sure, yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll try to trade for it and replace it. Oh man. Well, we're just climbing up the uh, mountain here. We should be hitting the tunnel. We're at the Cumberland Gap. Mm -hmm. Six hours to go till home. And meanwhile, literally as we speak, uh, the rest of the Six Sided Discs team has the pop-up shop set up at the Ice Bowl. Good luck to everybody who's out playing the Ice Bowl today. Mm -hmm. uh, and hope everybody's having a fun time there. Uh, we got some great thoughts from Chris and his experience playing at the Hambrick. Shoutouts to local Westerville restaurants. Mm -hmm. uh, fond memories of playing there and... Uh, you know, that was that was pretty cool. Yeah, the Harry Buffalo was the his go-to. Mm -hmm. That's super cool. Yeah, it's good eats. I've been there once. Uh, I had mentioned to him that when I go down to Idlewild to uh, watch them play, I might bring him down some. There you go. I think he'd like that because he doesn't get out there much anymore. I bet, yeah. <clears throat> All right. Well, I think we're going to cut it at that for now, but we'll update you again here when we get bored. <laughs> Later. Peace.